hello there guys and welcome welcome back to the channel so a bunch of you had asked me to update the sheet with the newest added champions and perhaps i have moved a few champions about like i did reduce uh she hulk's placement slightly and a few other changes but here we are so this is my personal champion compatibility list with recoil liquid courage and double edge the most important disclaimers if you have nick fury plus deadpool synergy everybody is basically moving one tier up unless they are already double immune in which case it doesn't do anything for them but obviously as we know if you have nick fury plus deadpool synergy you can run human torch perfectly fine you can run hull or any of these cosmics because you can easily offset the damage in vast majority of the fights because if you get rid of the bleed and heal up at the beginning of the fight that means you typically cover about one to two special attack recoil damage and you don't take any damage initially from that uh, period whilst bleed is active and the biggest kind of thing about mutant champions is that uh, mutant champions can move down from basically the very bottom to very top if you properly kind of synergize them up obviously we have um horseman of apocalypse pre-fight which makes everybody not take any bleed damage which lets them heal from bleeds and then also we have professor x synergy with wolverine or cyclops which can make champions up to 72 percent poison resistance and can turn every single mutant champion into like a mini deadpool or whatever character so every mutant has the capability to be at the very 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 top if you have horseman apocalypse and professor x synergies for them they're going to be insane with liquid courage double edge and lastly uh techs don't have it as well but it can be quite neat because you can use war machines pre-fight to let tech champions get rid of liquid courage double edge at the very beginning of the fight and in which case all champions also move one tier up so the first top tier is champions uh, that become significantly better than they otherwise would be my, in my opinion it's invisible woman because invisible woman basically heals with liquid courage double edge whilst her shield is up which absorbs 90 percent of the damage and willpower is still healing you up obviously it isn't the entire fight but you do get quite a lot of healing with invisible woman as well in science class and then we have jaw fix it because jaw fix its region is based on the amount of damage that you do there is virtually no downside in effect i prefer running my jaw fix it with liquid courage double edge than without similarly in skill class with mobile man that additional benefit obviously is insane increase in damage but also on top of that you get to start with two extra monster mass which means that you can enter your frenzy after a single heavy attack which makes them a lot more effective karnak similarly gets to heal throughout the entire fight so you can use him as a regeneration machine then we have omega red obviously that benefits a ton with liquid courage double edge especially liquid courage by having his death build active so all of these top champions either get to heal quite a bit from liquid courage double edge or get in quite a lot of additional utility or better start of the fight given to them like namor for instance he can reflect the damage that you are taking from liquid courage double edge to your opponent and still heal from willpower meanwhile similar to kitty while she's phasing you just get net willpower heal and obviously damage increase there sauron is 95 percent uh bleed resistant so he does get significant increase in damage and very significant healing as well guardian again significant increase in damage and heal at the beginning of every fight if he's high sig ghost those two furies at the beginning of the fight is extremely important hercules has a net heal with them and significantly more damage same as corvus glaive angela and null as well as all of those champions are resistant black widow clairvoyant again she kind of needs it damage wise and second of all she also heals based on the damage that she deals so all of her level two abilities basically become more potent and obviously diablo is kind of like a poster child for liquid courage double edge then we have champions with increased damage with hardly any downside there will be some occasional downsides for some of these champions that you might you know how to alter your playstyle for instance quake is up there because yeah you take damage slightly at the beginning of the fight but you get such a significant damage increase and since you don't throw special attacks and don't really take damage in a fight you can still do an entire lane with quake without needing to heal up in like your overall quests 
So these are champions that, you know, I would not hesitate using across the contest if I am running Liquid Courage Double Edge. And yeah, I would have no problem using those guys. Handle quite well means that obviously they do benefit from this increase in damage, but there is and can be cost. You might not necessarily be able to use all of the champion rotations like with Hyperion, for instance. You can't really do that level spam, level one spam in many different fights. And uh, that can, you know, present a problem with Penny as well. She's She does have the poison immunity, so she only takes bleed damage. But again, you do want to throw like up level ones, level two. You do get significant, significant damage increase with many of these champions. And that is, you know, in some of these champion cases, again, I don't like running them without because I use them for specific rotations with Liquid Courage Double Edge, like similar with Misty Knight. I really do think without Liquid Courage Double Edge, Misty Knight's damage is kind of underwhelming unless you go with that level two, level one rotation, which I personally don't like too much with. But if you go with that unblockable playstyle, then she really does want and benefit from Liquid Courage Double Edge. Similar kind of with Red Guardian. Red Guardian doesn't really have any immunities, but the damage increase kind of completely changes the character there. So there are downsides here, without a doubt, but there are also quite significant benefits for these champions when you run Liquid Courage Double Edge. Usable, and but not preferred, are champions that uh, you can use with Liquid Courage Double Edge, but they will immediately go from champions that you want to use for the entire path to champions that you want to use for select specific fights. Kind of like with Nick Fury, uh, for instance, you can definitely use Nick Fury with Liquid Courage Double Edge, but you just need to know that uh, as soon as you destroy LMD, you can get in like max one fight. Similarly with Human Torch, you can use him with Liquid Courage Double Edge, no problem, no doubt, for one or two fights. After that, you know, any chip damage plus damage that he takes throughout the fight, you can add up. I play Liquid Courage Double Edge quite a lot personally, and... Yeah, I still play these champions. It's just that the amount of fights I can bring them in in any given path is definitely significantly smaller. But there are champions like Longshot that are going to gain a massive, massive damage benefit from them and Tiger as well. You just gain such a huge damage benefit that sometimes it is quite worth, worth it to just uh, have access to that incredible damage and then heal them up or just uh, get to the next champion. In case of Spider-Man 2099, there should be another kind of asterisk put on. Obviously, if you're going up against True Strike Champion or True Strike Node, then he's arguably the best champion with Liquid Courage Double Edge on. But uh, here we are there. Barely usable champions are typically the champions that really do involve spamming special attacks and can't really do it without. Like Professor X, ironically, is one of the most Liquid Courage recall and friendly champions, similar to Visions similar to Red Goblin and Carnage, Sorcerer Supreme, Symbiote Supreme, they really don't like those masteries. Daredevil is so awful. Daredevil is so awful with Liquid Courage Double Edge. You really don't want to use this guy. And then we have Spider-Gwen. Spider-Gwen, you can kind of move up if you have Penny Synergy, because then you don't need to spam your level 1 anymore. But still, typically you're not going to want to do that. But yeah, I will leave a link to this spreadsheet so it is available to you whenever you want to take a look for yourself. When it comes to the newest champions that have been added, obviously Sauron is quite up high up here uh, as a very Liquid Courage Double Edge friendly champion. Omega Sentinel increased damage with hardly any downside because she does not quite get to regenerate as much as you'd want, but typically you can run her very well. But for any longer fights, you really will end up with a net health loss and uh king root perhaps arguably should be one tier higher as well and uh captain america sam wilson i think handled them quite well because uh if you are running liquid courage double edge with sam wilson you just kind of want to build the level three and use the level three rotation plays toad here as well with his poison immunity and then he gets regen on his level once as well or if he gets hit um who else of the newer champions we have up here black cat i placed in here as well as handles quite well because she does have the capacity to purify those debuffs if you have to or just 
typically finish off the fights with a single level two. It's kind of a similar case uh, as you would with Misty Knight, I think, where you just can't do everything, but you can do well enough, I would say. Uh, who else we have? Icarus, obviously, uh, it does not handle them well at all. And Captain Brilliant Betsy is atrocious with Liquid Courage Double Edge. She just destroys herself very, very quickly. Anyways, let me know if you disagree with some of these placements, as I'm sure many of you will. But uh, overall, I think this would be kind of like a relatively decent, you know, point of reference for most champions. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm going to catch you guys soon. See ya! Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So we have all the information about 